Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Um, I'm going to show you the Nerf Recon that I just picked up. That was about $35 at Kohl's. And it was at, um, like, it was pretty darn expensive. It was like about $35. It's really bad. Because I thought it only cost $20. Because I have missed the the Recon. And it was actually a Maverick. So my mom didn't even have enough money. So she just got $15 out of nowhere. For, uh, like she had $20. And then she took out 15 out of nowhere. And I just got this gun. And I got really happy for my mom. And uh, let's get to the parts of this gun. Now, this gun is quite light like it's not really that heavy but if you put the laser and the little aimer thing that comes with it it's actually pretty light and um, which is very good uh, I, pr I appreciate it uh, which is really good but i feel like selling the um the um, aimer and the laser about $10 each. Pretty darn expensive. And then, let's get to the parts of this gun. It comes with a barrel, a stock, and the, ma and the main gun, and six, a six dart magazine. Well, this usually comes out with uh, six darts, but I don't actually um, use it for this video. Now, um, let's get to the barrel of this gun. Now, this is like the retaliator, but it's blue. Uh, this is yellow, and the retaliator's one is blue. Now, what this can do is, you know, this, this part here, you can lift it up, and it helps you when you look like straight over here, which is really helpful. And without this barrel, this the recon will lose its accuracy and its range. And which is quite bad without the barrel. But when you put the barrel on, it's really good. Like um, you can put the um, uh, like you can put it on and. Whenever you're gonna aim it at somewhere, it comes exactly where you're gonna aim it at. So it's really cool, and this is really helpful in the battle. Now let's get to the stock. The stock of this gun, it's quite big. Like instead of just putting like this quick reload clip on here, Instead of just putting it in there, I sometimes just take it out and I put it on my shoulder, which feels very comfortable. But I thought putting it like this and the gun, it felt very uncomfortable, so I had to lean back a little, which was, and I kept losing in a gun fight like that. So I just put it usually on my shoulder. And this button over here, it's used to take it out, but which is pretty cool. And you put it on the recon like this. And to take it out, you just press a button here, and then that's it, you take it out. And then let's get to the main part of the gun. The main part of the gun, it's pretty light, like it's like a pistol, and this is pretty loud, I'll show you how, how loud it is, that's actually pretty loud for me, like, my parents don't like it, my mum doesn't, um, my little sister doesn't like it, she complains, well, it's kind of, like, embarrassing, but I don't call it really embarrassing, 
because of like this gun can really do a lot of stuff. But it can't do this. It can't like when you hold the trigger and then it just do it like that. Um, this part can get jammed and you will be able to move it a lot. So it's like the Alpha Trooper. And um, this is and it has like a star holder like that. And you'll know it, and this is a good thing to know about this gun. So when you just pull this back and then you pull it forward, you see this orange part right here, that means it's brine and it's ready to shoot. And if it's not like that, then that means you have to pull it back and put it forward. And which is an important thing that you really, know, you really need to know in a war. But what happens if, like, just let me shoot this out for a second. Okay, what happens uh, if this? You shoot and you check that it's not there and someone shoots you on the head. Because that's what happened to me. I got shot in the head with a, with a nerf dart. And I kind of lost the war, which was very embarrassing. Um, and uh, I'll, and I will show you how this, these attachments work. works it's kind of cool and it's really big um, like I can sometimes do this but the darts actually fall down and I have to pick it up and I get shot um, now how to use this stock is pretty basic but it's hard to take care of the bullet. so when you shoot and you're out of bullets push back and then there's a button right here you don't have to probably press two of them at the same time. Just press one, and it'll come out, and then you throw it on the floor. Well, you don't need to actually throw it on the floor. But, and then just force this out, and then put it in. It's cool. It's a really basic reloading, and it's really cool. And thanks for watching this interview. It was quite fun of making, and Peace out.